Hey y'all, it's Natalie here for Spiegel Mom Scraps today and I am using this awesome September release. It's called Brush Strokes and it's made to coordinate with Wild Whisper's handmade collection, but it's also fabulous by itself, which is how I'm using it today. And um, there's a pre-order up right now for this and I will link down below if you would like to grab it. It's a really great collection. It has pale yellows, whites, dark blues, light blues, and some like white iridescent colors that pick up a bunch of different colors. It's really gorgeous. So what I'm doing is I kind of hand drew this little wave and it's gonna come off the corner of the page and I'm just kind of eyeballing it. That's just my jam. I don't really, <laughs> I'm not very precise, but just kind of like this like susical kind of wave here. And then my photos are gonna go below it and I wanna line the edge of the wave with the sequins. So I have these three photos of my son. This is an eight by eight um, layout. It, it goes in our um, vacation album from this year where we went to the beach. So with these eight by eight um, pages, it's easy to fill them up. So I don't wanna do too much. So it's actually gonna be pretty simple when it comes to embellishing. So I stuck down my wave paper and that was just a paper from my sash. You could see before that I had already kind of like broke into it. So I get my little pile of sequins out and I get like some tacky on the end of a stick and I start sticking them down. I just do a little bit of my Nouveau adhesive along the edge of the paper. And I just do a little bit at a time because I don't want the glue to like start drying. It dries pretty quickly. So I don't want it to start drying before I'm able to stick the sequins all the way along the way. And then once I get a few down, I'll just take like a scrap piece of paper and kind of help me smush down. That way I don't like accidentally move the sequence. I'm super careful when I'm smushing, but also I don't get glue like all over my hand, um, which is probably going on right just then when I stuck my finger in it. So I'm not gonna make you watch me do all of this, I promise. Um, this is a super quick video because it was a quick layout. Um, this line of sequins along the, um, the wave was it gives a really impactful look and so not much more is necessary as far as embellishments go and I wasn't um, trying to do any type of pattern down here or anything just whatever sequin I kind of picked up over on the right is what went down and um, if I have a tip it would be you know sequins kind of have like a concave um, shape and so I would put it with the like I don't know what the word is <laughs> the concave shapes facing up so it would stick better they're not exactly flat but it is flatter on the other side um, and that's the side that I used to stick down so we're almost done here and then the layout will come together really nicely and quickly I'm gonna put my affiliate link down below if you would like to grab the brush strokes on pre-order in just a couple days it'll be on regular order because it will be September can you believe it fly time is flying it's already been like almost two months since we took this trip I can't believe it so um I do go off there I am using my scrap paper to kind of smush everything down and you know, I'm showing you all the sparkle I backed the photos and some additional white cardstock everything's nice and dry I'm running my fingers over it it's not going to pop off that nouveau adhesive is fabulous you could also use like glossy accents to ensure that nothing was going to come off I'm going to stick the photos down in that configuration right there. Yep, yep. And I grabbed those blue alphas from my stash, but you'll see here in a second. So of course I have to add some mixed media because I'm me. And so I cover up the photos with some scratch and I go in with three different colors of blue and just add a few splatters from the watercolor spray bottle. But then when I bring the al uh, alphas back over, none of the colors of spray match the colors of alphas. And I felt like it was just adding in an additional blue that I didn't really want to add in. So I actually switched and I had some other alphas in white and I decided to go with those. Um, Cause there is a lot of blue on the page. The sky is blue, his hat is blue, his suit is blue. Well, no, his suit was black, but his board was blue. And blue is his favorite color. <laughs> so my title's just going to be Beach Bum. And I'm going to overlap on the photos and I just feel like that grouping helps like bring a little bit of cohesion to the page 
And I'm not gonna add anything else because that's a lot going on with the splatters and the sequins. So that's gonna call it done, y'all. Um, super quick today. I hope you guys are having a fabulous weekend. I thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and check out the link down below if you'd like to pick up your Spiegel Mom Scrap sequins. Thanks, y'all. Bye.